Hey everybody, it's Tyler from GameStart. I'm here today to show you how to download Minecraft Python programming at home. So this is a question we get asked a lot from parents and students alike. They like what they're doing in the classroom and they want to go ahead and try it out at home. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Now a couple things before we start. Um, this is only going to work on PC versions, so Windows only and no pocket edition. The mod that we have uses Forge and so the Forge mod loader relies on a old version of Java and that old version of Java isn't going to really be supported anymore so this isn't something that um, we can truly recommend for you to do but if you really gotta have Python programming at home this is this is your best process to get there so we're gonna go ahead and download all the necessary files we're gonna install Forge and an older version of Java and we're gonna also extract a, a particular folder to our C drive so let's get started now to start, we're gonna first download all the necessary files. So we're gonna go to www.gamestartschool.org slash at home. Um, this will take us to a Google Drive um, that has two folders. We want the Minecraft Python folder. And these are the four files that we're gonna need. And we also assume that you've already have a Minecraft account and you already have a version of Minecraft installed on your PC. For help with that, you can go to the Mojang website. They're gonna help, they're a great resource for installing Minecraft. We've got the four files, we can go ahead and just click on them and say download. I've already got them downloaded. But one note is that the Java version, it's gonna be a little bigger um, than Google can scan for viruses. So it, you can go ahead and click download anyway and it will, uh, it will get, get started. Um, to download this zip file, you can click on it and there's a download button right here at the top. So that, that'll get you started on downloading all of the folder or the files that you need. Um, and then once we've got those started, we can go ahead and start setting up Minecraft. So I'm going to open my Minecraft launcher by clicking on my little Minecraft block. And it should have, so right now I only have one profile, and that profile is for the, the Minecraft account that I have. And um, what we want to do is I don't, I don't want to impact your profile, so we want to create a new profile. And the reason we're doing this is that we need to use version 1.7.2 instead of the latest version. So um, so typically, when your Minecraft profile launches, um, it's trying to use the latest version of Minecraft. But because of the mod that we have written and the version of Forge, um, we have to use version 1.7.2. And in order to install Forge, you'll have to at least run, run the game once with version 1.7.2 uh, installed. So I'm gonna make a copy so I'm going to do that again so you can see it. I'm going to say make a new profile and it, you see it starts to make a copy of the Game Start School profile. Um, so I'm going to just say uh, 1.7.2 and then uh, under use version I'm going to uh, navigate till I get to 1.7.2. Usually it says use latest version um, and so we don't want to use the latest version we want to use 172. We'll go ahead and click save profile and this will be a new profile that we have access to. You can see I can click down here. I can switch over to from game start to 1.7.2. I can click play and it'll start to download all the necessary files. And it might take a little bit longer for you if you haven't done that already. But the first thing we wanna do is we just wanna test and make sure that Minecraft is working. Um, so I'm gonna make a new creative world. We'll hop in there and we'll make sure that everything is, is working with our version of Minecraft. Now, if this isn't working, then it means you have an issue with Minecraft in general, and it's not anything that we've done. It's that you might need to reinstall Minecraft um, or delete some old app data. Um, but as you can see here, Minecraft is up and running. I'm in creative mode because I made a creative world, so I have all the all access to all the things and all the pigs. So we're good to go. Um, so I'm gonna press escape. I'm gonna say save and quit the title, and I'm gonna quit the game. And now all those downloads, hopefully should be done. Now you can see I've got all four of them downloaded here. And the order that we're gonna do this is, is important, but, um, but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close Chrome now that, that we've got all our downloads. Um, so the order that we do these is the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install Java. So we find the f file that says JDK7U60, and we'll double click on that. And we'll say, yes, go ahead and run. Oh, and it says it's already installed. I'm going to say reinstall so you can see some of the steps. But you, you shouldn't get that, that uh, pop-up. And we'll wait 
a little bit of time there. And like I said, this is an older version of Java. So because of that, we uh, can't recommend that you use this process um, because of security risks. But um, um, but this is this is unfortunately the the best method right now. And while we're working on a different method um, for the time being, this is sort of what 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 we have have to utilize. But yeah, you'll see this setup. We'll go ahead and click next. We'll make sure that all of these are installed, and we can see this feature will be installed Lo on the local hard drive. That's good. So we're good to go. We can say we can note where it is installed at. So this is this will be important for later. We can see it's installed in program files, Java, and then JDK 1.7.0. We can change that, but we don't need to. We just need to remember where that is. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. <clears throat> and it'll go ahead and install all the components. And it'll say, a new version of Java is already installed. That's OK. Um, we, we know that. That's good for us. Um, and then we'll say close. And we are good to go on that front. So now, uh, that hasn't modified Minecraft at all. Um, it's just gotten uh, a version of Java on our computer. So now I can check in my programs, um, programs and features. I can see the new version of Java is right there. So Java SD, SE Development Kit. Boom. Success. Good to go. OK, so now we can go about installing Forge. So we've got the Forge jar. Now, sometimes jar files don't necessarily point to Java. Um, so you can right click and say open with, and you can say Java platform. But usually you can double click on them, and they, they'll just run. And what we want to do is we want to install Forge for the client and not for the server and not extract. So we'll, we'll make sure that checkbox is, is install client. We say OK. And it's going to download the necessary libraries. OK, so now we have successfully installed the client and we have grabbed two required libraries and that's that's super useful so we can say okay and now we can launch minecraft and we want to test right now we want to test to make sure that forge installed properly so one thing we can see is we have a new profile in our launcher called forge so this is the profile we want to use this 1.7.2 profile is out um, unnecessary at this point and we can even if i click over to this version of forge and i say edit profile you can see it's now using version release 172-forge, and so we can see that's in the release list, so that's um, or the version list, and that's super super handy. Now we've got to do one other thing before we start, and it's it's related to that Java installation. So you can see under advanced Java settings, it's just using the version of Java that came with uh, Minecraft. So you can see Minecraft comes with a version of Java down here under this executable. Um, so we need to specify the one, the version of Java we just downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this box and say, yes, we want to modify this. We want to change where um, Minecraft looks for Java. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to our C drive, and we're going to find that, that um, place where our installation of Java lives. So on the local C, or under my computer, I can see my local C drive. I can find program files and not as opposed to uh, program files x86. So it's a 64 bit version of Java. So that means it's going to live in program files. Then we can look for Java and we find Java. We can find the JDK 1.7.0. We'll double click on that. And then this is the bin folder. And inside of that bin folder, we have. Um, we're looking for Java w.exe, and we could just make sure that it's there. We can see we have Java w.exe. Now we don't need to click on this um, or execute it. What we need to do is we need to copy this path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this this piece of the path. I'm going to copy it. So I just clicked up here. And I said right. I selected it all. I said copy, and then I'll hop back into Minecraft, and I'm going to delete everything after Java or everything before the Java. I'm going to say delete, and then I'm going to paste in. I can say paste. No, I think I have to control, you hold control and press V once, and that'll paste in. And it looks like, oh, I missed uh, the backslash, so I'm going to put that backslash in there. And that is the appropriate path for where the version of Java that we just downloaded is. So if I say save profile, save profile, I'm going to go ahead and click play, and I'm going to test Forge. I'm going to make sure that 
that Forge is working by itself before we worry about putting the Minecraft mod in that we just installed, or that we have the, my, the game start mod. So, looks like everything's going good so far. We'll definitely want to test a world though, because sometimes you'll have issues with that. So I'm going to click the world we, we made the first time. I'm going to say play selected world. I'm going to let it fire up. There we go. Success. Looks Everything's looking good. I can place a block. Yay. Okay. So we'll save and click the title. We can also see that this mods folder uh, or this mods option has, has shown up. And you can see I have three mods, my, the Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge. These are all Forge-based mods. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna say done. I don't need to worry about those. I'm gonna say quick game. And then I'm gonna do two more steps and then we should be good to go. So the first is I'm gonna click on downloads. I'm going to um, extract this resources folder. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna extract using um, a zip or an unzip program. Um, if you have WinZip or 7-Zip, um, those, those all work pretty well. Um, I, I feel like Windows does that natively now, but I'm, I don't quite remember. So I'm going to extract it right to the downloads folder for now. So I'm going to say, yeah, that's, that's okay. Extract all of these files out of the zip file and put them inside the downloads folder. And now you can see that this MP resources folder, we actually have two versions of it. So inside of the zip file, there's an MP resources folder and then inside of there is another MP resources folder. We want the one that lives inside of the first one, if that makes sense. So we want it to, we want the order to go, if I click on MP resources, I want to see the scripts folder next. So if I, if I grab this MP resources folder and I copy it and I'm going to put it into the C drive and I'm going to use paste again, I'm going to hold control, I'm going to press V and it's going to end up right, right on my C drive. One note, paste, you know, putting putting folders and files on your C drive typically isn't the, the best practice, but currently as our mod is set up, this is this is the, the home where MP resources have to has to live because this is where mod, the mod looks for it. And this is why we can't run this on uh, Mac based or Apple based machines at the moment because of this sort of one wrinkle. But yet we want to make sure that under C, if I click on MP resources, I have the scripts folder, and now I can see Inside the scripts folder, I have the base folder that has all the all the Python scripts that um, our mod needs to to know how to do things or to talk to Minecraft. Um, we have the tech mage folder where all the wands, the student wands, live, um, and I'll talk about that in a second. And then we have the MP folder. Um, the MP folder is where the the your code here file lives, and this your code here file. It's very important when we write code and we write our Python code that we're doing it inside of this full, this file because this is where the code lives that Minecraft will look for or that our mod will look for. Um, so let's go ahead and let's install that mod. So now that we've done, put the MP resources in, let's go back to the downloads folder and let's copy this, this final piece, this Minecraft Python jar. So we'll copy that. Let's open Minecraft one more time. And let's edit our profile. So uh, for the Forge profile, we're going to say Edit Profile. We're going to open the game directory. And this will show us the folder where all of the um, information about this profile lives. We're going to click on the Mods folder. And we're going to paste in the jar that we just copied. So we've got it in the right spot. We're good to go. We can close this. We can close our Downloads folder. I'm going to say save profile, save profile. I didn't really make any changes, but I have it. So I will say play. Yeah, we'll copy some code that, that one of our students wrote to make a sphere in Minecraft. All right, so now that Minecraft is, is loaded, it will take Minecraft a little bit longer to, to load because of the mods. Um, so we can see we have six mods loaded and six mods active. That's perfect. That's exactly the number that we want. We're going to say single player. We're going to hop back into this world. Okay, so everything looks normal, except for if I press P. Oh, if I save my code, so my code is not saved. I'll say save. I press P. 
should get a giant sphere. There it is. Whoosh. Oh no. Do, 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 do. Success. That wasn't there before. Where is this coming from? And this is our code. So everything that we, we wrote seems like it's working. I'm uh, able to get ahead of it. And we have a giant glass sphere in Minecraft. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, post any questions you might have in the comments section. Our next video is going to cover some fun that you can have with Python in Minecraft. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the action. And until next time.